All right, first things first, we are going to be talking about walks. We're going to talk about what happens when we go on a walk, and we're going to talk about what happens when we go on a walk for about 20 minutes a day. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys know this by now, but there are some pretty big reasons why you really should be physically active every day. Uh, and today we're going to focus primarily on how it helps your brain work better. So things that we need to understand is when we go for a 20 minute walk, it helps us stay happier. It helps us improve our thinking and concentration. And it also helps us focus and be more creative. So if we look at these two images, really looking at the one on the left, that's what happens when you sit on your hiney for 20 minutes and not really think about anything and not really do anything. So those of you who are sitting watching your phones, you're sucked into the vortex of TikTok. You might be on your gaming system. Even if you're interacting on your phone, it doesn't really make you like stimulated and ready to go. Um, so really just sitting quietly kind of makes you a toad. So if you look at the brain on the right, that way, that way, the brain on your right, um, that one really shows that after 20 minutes of physical activity, what the progress your brain makes. So things that we need to understand is we have all these stresses in our life and they are constantly trying to turn our brains off. They're trying to shut us down. They're trying to make sure that we can't stay going. But what we need to understand is once we go out and we exercise, your brain does a lot more work and it actually keeps that mood switch back on. So few sciencey things here. So if we look at us going on a walk and then we see what it releases for us. So we have this like protein that our brain releases when we go exercise and it's actually called BDNF. Okay, it's brain derived neuro something, something or other. If you really want to know, I'll look it up for you. But that protein helps repair actually your memory neurons. So those of you who have a hard time remembering things or keeping things in there, how about we go create some more BDNF in our brains? All right, get it going. Um, but we add that to the endorphins that are released, which is the hormone or the chemical that fights off stress. Okay, that's an awesome combination because all of a sudden we're in a happier mood. Every day tends to be a better day. We can cope with our crappy stuff a little bit better and also helps us with mental clarity. Okay, it helps us think clearly and actually helps us think quicker. Okay, so now I need you to understand some of the sciencey stuff behind this. So there's this dude, um, he's Dr. Chuck Hillman, and he's at the University of Illinois. And he did a study with about 20 kids and he got their parents to bring the kids to the university and he did an experiment with them and this experiment was based on them working out so what happened he made these kids come to two different visits and on the first visit they would just sit and chill for about 20 minutes and then they would take some tests they took a cognitive test they took a reaction test and an accuracy test okay and if you noticed again they sat for 20 minutes their brain activity was fairly low and then the next time they came in, they actually ran or actually walked on a treadmill for about 20 minutes. And then they did those tests again. Again, they took the cognitive test, the reaction test, and also the accuracy test. Now, if you look down here, we have our same little thing that we show you guys in class. He actually had them wearing polar heart rate monitors, same as what we wear in class. And he had them exercising at 60% of their maximum heart rate, which if you guys know that blue zone is not very strenuous, right? but they stayed in their blue zone for 20 straight minutes. And just with that 20 straight minutes, look at the activity that was going on in their brain, and then they took those tests. So what do the results tell us? Well, I'm about to tell you, and it's really not going to be very shocking. So when these kids took their academic tests, you can see that their cognitive results after exercise were way higher than before exercise, okay? So we have their three tests right here. So we had a reading test, we had a comprehension test, and then we also had a math test. And again, the black bars here, okay, is their test results after exercise. These white bars are before exercise, and you can see every single time after exercise wins. The next results that we're gonna look at is their accuracy test. Okay, so again, those of you who are athletes or those of you who are in more of a physical um, sport or activity, you have to understand that accuracy is kind of a big deal. So when we take these accuracy tests, you can see again that the kids that were more physically active first, their accuracy was much higher. So this is percentage of accuracy and their percentage of hitting their target is higher than before they exercised. 
So finally, what we're going to look at is their reaction test. So again, no surprise here, the result of the reaction test that the kids' reaction times were much faster. That's why this bar looks lower. It's because their times were actually faster than before they exercised. So what you're going to do today is you're going to go for a 20-minute walk where you move fast enough to feel warm and to elevate your heart rate a little bit. Okay. The exit ticket is going to be on our Schoology page, so make sure you go take a look at that when we're done going through this. And then if you really want to know some of the nerdy research I did, here are the two links right here. Those will be available to you in Schoology as well. All right.